with forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and three gigs of data for just $44.99, or with five gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. 40-year-old Angela Polly and 51-year-old Michael Sloan, both of the Millard area in Pike County, were indicted this week on a Class C felony charge of adult exploitation. The charge stems from an incident in early August, during which Polly, with the help of Sloan, allegedly attacked a disabled elderly resident of the Myers Towers apartment complex in downtown Pikeville. In this case, the city police got a complaint that Angela Polly had assaulted this man uh, while she was stealing money from him. And whenever they went to Myers Towers where he lives, uh, they were already gone. Pikeville police began investigating the incident and they were led to Angela Polly, who is a family member of the alleged victim. We, we have obtained video footage uh, from the Myers Towers um, housing complex that uh, we used to identify the female uh, and she was identified as Angela Polly. The video surveillance also showed that Sloan allegedly played a part in the crime against the victim, most notably blocking a good Samaritan who attempted to intervene and help the victim. It's almost like in basketball, he blocked him out so that he, he, he body checks him so that he can't get over to where the assaults are taking place. Officials said the circumstances of the case, the victim's age, health, and the crime allegedly committed, made the exploitation charge appropriate. Adult exploitation is a special statute <clears throat> that is protecting adults that maybe have a mental or physical disability that make them particularly vulnerable to some type of theft or some type of uh, abuse. And the significance of this is that the legislature made this a class C felony, carries up to 10 years in prison. So this is an attempt to protect these people that need extra protection because of their problems. This, this is something that we can't tolerate. Um, these, these people have, have given their lives to our communities, and uh, you know it's time for us to stand up for them, and we need to make sure that they're taken care of. Neither Angela Polly or Michael Sloan are in custody at this time in Pike County. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.